Hello, my name is uh, Piotr Podle. Uh, I'm from the University of Warsaw. I'm currently on internship at Google, and I'm working on uh, the virtualization in Clang. So uh, this presentation would be serious. <laughs> okay, so why, why the virtualization matters? So basically, uh, the, the most important thing about uh, the virtualization is that we want to inline virtual functions. And if we don't know what function will be called, then of course we cannot inline it. And there are other things, like if we, if we, uh, if, if we devirtualize the function and we know that it's too big to inline, then it's, 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 it's much better to have, it, uh, to have a direct call instead of a virtual dispatch. The other thing is that if we devirtualize better, then uh, we will make binaries smaller. And all these things will lead to performance boost. So let me first tell you briefly how uh, virtual calls uh, works. So uh, basically, uh, if, you, if you have some virtual uh, function, uh, the, this class will have additional uh, pointer, which will be a virtual pointer. And this pointer will uh, point to virtual table. And a virtual table is just a table generated for each uh, dynamic class with some virtual functions. And uh, how virtual call will work is that uh, we will take this pointer, we will lo load the value of this pointer, then having this, uh, the, the value will load the exact, uh, uh, exact function, and then we will call it. So as you can see, this, this is a, a lot of VMIR. Uh, so it's, it's not so complicated. Okay, so what, what, what client covers right now? So if we have a uh, very, uh, very easy code like this, then uh, Clang will uh, devirtualize it. And uh, this is because uh, it can do it on the front-end level. So it sees that we will call a virtual function of, uh, of type, uh, on type A, and this is very, very easy to devirtualize in the front-end. The other thing that will work is uh, if we have uh, some other function uh, like this G, uh, and we call it from F, then the G will be uh, inlined into F, and based on the, uh, on the knowledge of the type, we'll be able to devirtualize it. And the, the other thing is that, unfortunately, I had to define foo here. And this is because of uh, linkage of uh, Vtable, which I will cover later. Okay, so let's talk about what doesn't work in Clank right now. So uh, if we have uh, outline constructor, this, this thing will not be devirtualized. And this is because uh, all, all this optimization happens on the LLVM level, on, on LLVM IR. And the thing is that we are loading here, a, a, we are loading here V pointer. And because constructor is, is, no, is no outline, uh, the optimizer will not see the store to this, to the, to this V pointer. And because of it, it will not be able to devirtualize it. The other example, uh, if we have uh, two virtual calls, then in this example, we will be able to only devirtualize the first one. And this, this might sound, sound, sound crazy, but this is because the optimizer doesn't know that V pointer will not change after we call a virtual function. And you might feel like, this is obvious that it will not change. And the thing is that this is C++, and you can do some crazy things. <laughs> and I, I will show you later how to do it. <laughs> uh, and the other, the other example, if we have a virtual uh, destructor that is uh, default, then before, because this is inline function, inline virtual function, then uh, the, the vtable will be external. And this is because um, uh, in, in a Clank, in a GCC, uh, there, there is something called uh, key function optimization. And uh, what it's trying to do is trying to put vit, uh, definition of vtable only in one place. So uh, the binaries are smaller. And because of it, uh, it's, it's much harder to devirtualize. Okay. Uh, so basic fact. If you, if you have uh, uh, two function calls, uh, this thing will produce something like this. So each function call will generate uh, uh, these three, uh, these two loads and the call. And this is a thing that, of course, uh, 
we would like to avoid because we can assume that those two uh, loads will load the same v-pointer v -pointer value. So about, uh, let's talk about placement new. So the thing is that, uh, of course, uh, we want to make uh, optimization, but we don't want to miscompile something. And uh, so the thing is that uh, if, if we are optimizing some uh, LLVM IR, it, it doesn't know that we are doing some virtual calls on C++, et cetera. It does see that just some, some running some V pointer, then uh, loading some function and just call it. So, and as you can see in this function, we are uh, changing the type of A. So we are changing the V pointer. And the thing is that uh, if we will use the same pointer after uh, we'll uh, end up uh, the lifetime of, uh, of the object A, then we cannot use the same pointer again. And this is undefined behavior. And you know, we as like compilers uh, guys, we like undefined behaviors, right? So this is something that's, that, that is really helpful, uh, helpful to us. But the thing is that if you do something like this, so if you uh, return the pointer from placement new, then you can, you can, you can use this pointer and everything is, is fine. And as you can see, we are not even calling the structure of, of A. We're just putting some new object into A. And, every, and this, this thing is like st standard compliant. Okay, so what we can do about, uh, about, uh, uh, about constructor that is outline. So of course we can assume that after we call, after we call constructor, the V pointer uh, will be set to proper V table. Because if we will do something crazy in the constructor, then this will be undefined behavior. So what, we can, what, uh, what I did is I inserted uh, these three lines to LVM IR, which is, okay, let me load this V table from the V pointer. Then let me compare it with real V table. And then let me call this function called uh, LVM assume. And this is a special function. And those special functions are intransing function. And this function doesn't do anything, but this is a hint for a compiler to, uh, to optimize based on it. And what compiler can do is like, okay, so I see this function assume, and I see that you are comparing this to uh, this v table with, uh, with, the, uh, with the value. So I can replace v table one uh, with, uh, uh, with at v table. The other thing about uh, v table uh, linkage is there is something uh, that's called available externally linkage. And what it do is uh, uh, it doesn't change uh, the, the linkage of, of the table, but it's just giving definition that, is, uh, uh, that we get rid of just before we uh, make binary. And because of it, the, uh, the optimizer can, uh, um, because optimizer see definition, it can do more. And of course, it will not make uh, binary bigger because we will get rid of it. And unfortunately, we only can do it right now on the Itanium ABI uh, if uh, we don't have any inline virtual functions or we don't have any hidden virtual functions, which is uh, pretty bad. But for, for now, we cannot, uh, it's, it's not so easy to, uh, to solve this, this thing. OK, so what about? Uh, if we have some uh, function calls. And we want, so we want to propagate the constants of the v-pointer. And the thing is that I said constness because it's not even const as in C++ way, right? Because if we would have a const member uh, in, a, in a class, we, would only, uh, we, we could only set it once. And in the constructors, we set it multiple times. So we want to, what we want to do is we want to get rid of uh, vtable to load. And uh, instead of vtable2, use vtable. So uh, uh, we come up with something like this to add uh, some new metadata to LLVMIR that will, will say like, OK, so if you have two uh, loads with the same invariant group, which is this metadata, uh, and this, uh, the, the zero on the end is a, is a value that uh, and that says that this is a load of, uh, of type A. And we have the same, we're using the same pointer value. 
then we can assume that those two are loading the same value. Okay, but it's, it's very hard to, to deal with placement new, and of course we wouldn't uh, want to miscompile something. So we had to uh, come up with idea to stop the optimizer for optimizing case like this. Because if, if you wouldn't stop it, then it would see that the call of uh, this placement new will return the same pointer. And because of it, we could then op the, miscompile the uh, second call, a virtual call, to, to call a uh, virtual, uh, virtual function of class my class. So this call will uh, uh, call constructor and then do some bit cast. It doesn't uh, really matter. So what we come up with is uh, to, uh, to do some, make some new intrinsic function that will, uh, that, uh, it would only return the same pointer. But because we don't give a definition of this function, then the optimizer doesn't know about it. And <laughs> we, we had to introduce a new flag to the clank uh, to do uh, some, some new uh, devirtualization. And this is because of uh, a couple of things. So if we do link time optimization on a code uh, with this invariant group and with invariant group barriers, and uh, if we try to link it with other code that is, was compiled with some previous version of Clank, then this thing is unsafe. So we had to know if we are compiling it with, uh, with, uh, with this optimization turn on or not. And we will reject uh, if we will try to do so. Uh, the other thing is that uh, Optimizer doesn't know uh, how to deal with invariant group uh, barrier right now. And this is the thing that we don't want to Optimizer to stop optimizing things that it was able to do before we introduced this, this thing. So we want to only to, uh, to stop the Optimizer of, to do the optimization based on this invariant group thing, but we don't want to break everything else. The other thing is that we have a policy uh, in a clank that if we are uh, optimized based on some undefined behavior, then the user should be able to check if it's doing something crazy, right? This placement new. And so uh, we have to also introduce some checks to UBSAN. And the whole thing is still experimental, so uh, we, want, we don't want to introduce uh, some bugs. And Unfortunately, there are some corner cases that uh, it's very hard to, uh, to deal with. So as you can see, uh, what, what we are doing here is we are using the, the pointer A. And the thing is that standard says that, okay, we cannot use the pointer A as something to, that points to the object, but we can just get value of A. And this thing uh, is, is very hard to, uh, to, to optimize because after calling assert, uh, the optimizer knows that those two pointers are the same. And because of it, it, it could replace pointer B with pointer A. And you know what? I checked if GCC can optimize this thing. And I find a bug, like t 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so if you will compile it with uh, GCC uh, 5.1 5 or 5.2, 5 uh, then it will call assert. Which is, uh, which is of course uh, something uh, that uh, th this is not true because those two pointers are really the same. And the other thing is that uh, we want to make this thing uh, uh, to be invalid in C++ 17 because this it, it is very hard to deal with. Okay, so what are the results? So, unfortunately, the results un are unknown. <laughs> and this, is, this isn't because uh, uh, I cannot uh, uh, tell you about, about the numbers, but because I don't know the numbers yet. <laughs> and this is because uh, the whole thing is, I still develop uh, things, and the invariant group optimization that I was talking about uh, is not yet done. Uh, and this is the main point of, uh, of, of whole devirtualization. So if you want to see, uh, to to learn something more about uh, the virtualization clank, you can see this uh, uh, my paper about it. And if you want to know 
uh, how uh, GCC deals with the, the virtualization, uh, you should go to uh, Jan Kubicka uh, blog posts. They are very good. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>